feeds into third eye. Can you tell us more? What do you see there? Can you describe to me what you see in the third eye? Okay, higher self. Michelle's higher self, I think that our internet has frozen. Archangel Sad Kiel. Perfect. Michelle's higher self, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. It's like it's um, like some kind of a cap over, over the third eye, blocking it. Perfect. Does this cap have a consciousness or an energy? Um, does it have a um, a feeling of life, consciousness within it. Okay, how yourself? Yes. Oh. Can you tell me, is there a consciousness? I think within? it's attached to something, something else. Okay, and okay, what is it attached to now? Follow that attachment, what's it attached to? I think it's attached to some kind of collective So it has, does it have a consciousness? Does it feel like it has a consciousness? Yes. Okay. Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron. Yeah, it's almost. I ask you to contain this consciousness within the relevant alchemy symbols now, please. Do you think it's reptilian? Is it a reptilian consciousness? I'm getting the yes. Okay, so we'll place this reptilian and its consciousness now into the rel relative alchemy, quantum alchemy shields. Please, Archangel Michael and the higher self. Archangel Michael, is there anybody else angelic being that you would like to bring in as well to help you with this? Raphael. Archangel Raphael, thank you. Okay. Let's contain this reptilian consciousness now within the relative alchemy shields. Archangel Raphael, brother, we love you, honor you and respect you. Welcome and thank you for being present here with us today. Can you please tell us more about this consciousness that we think is a reptilian, believed to be reptilian? What more can you tell us? I think it's got threads into other places in her body as well. Okay, are they like cords? I feel there's cords coming from this down into her jaw, down into the back of her neck. Is this a, does this look like tentacles? Does it look like an octopus type being or is it just cords, black cords? Um, I'm seeing kind of black cords. Okay. Like a spider. Okay. Archangel, spider. 
Archangel Raphael and Michael, please contain the spider consciousness, the spider energy now within the relevant alchemy symbols. We're bringing in the relevant archon alchemy symbols now to contain the spider energy. Archangel Michael, is it fully contained within the relative quantum symbols, please? Yes. Okay, so just to clarify, is it, are we right that we have one form of life that's connected and contained within the reptilian alchemy symbols? Is this true? Yes. And are we correct that we have contained a separate energy archon form of life within the other relevant alchemy symbol box? Yes, <clears throat> but there's another part of it in the right side of our brain. Okay, Let's so Archangel really Mer Perfect. Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, please can you make sure that all of this form of life, the spider entity, is completely and fully contained within the appropriate alchemy symbols now, please. That all parts of it, all the legs, the ten tentacles, everything is fully contained within the box, please. And the same goes for the reptilian. This reptilian that we believe, the consciousness. Can you make sure that it's fully contained, that all elements and parts of it now are being taken into the box, into as relevant quantum alchemy symbols, please. So pulling all the tentacles out. Should I start with Phoenix Fire, Archangel Raphael, channeling Phoenix Fire? Okay, so Archangel Metatron, is the Archon spider fully and completely contained now within the appropriate alchemy symbols? Yes, you have contained it all now. Perfect. Is the reptilian consciousness fully contained within its quantum alchemy symbols also? Yes, you have contained it all. Perfect, thank you. Should I start channeling Phoenix Fire now? Where should I direct it, please? Direct it to the whole head area, down the back of the neck, into the shoulders. Perfect, thank you. Okay, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Raphael, in relation now to the Archon, that is contained within the Archon box. Can we start transmuting that now back to zero point? Is this the highest intentional thing that we can do right now? Yes, we can contain it and send it back to zero point. Can we begin that process now, please? Yes. 
is this what was blocking her third eye? Is that the cap that she felt was over her third eye? This, this is what was blocking. This was blocking the third eye from seeing clearly. Okay. Okay, so we're just going with that process now, channeling in the love light energy. Archangel Raphael, I know that you're filling in that love light energy now with the Archon box. We're starting that process. Okay, so turning our attention now to the reptilian consciousness contained within the um, reptilian alchemy symbols. Archangel Michael, is it a safe and appropriate for us to speak to that reptilian that is contained within the box? Yes. Okay. That particular reptilian, is he in his full body or is it just his consciousness? I think it's a consciousness, but I can see it connected to some kind of a body outside of that. Okay. Would that reptilian like to speak with us today? Yes, I'll speak to you. Okay, so we come in love and peace today. We love, honour and respect you. So coming up now, up, 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 up. Coming up, 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 up. We love, honour and respect you, dear brother. We come here today with love and light. And we're if it's okay with you, we might ask you some questions about your experience with Michelle. Okay. Thank you, brother. So is it true that it's just your consciousness at the moment that is in with Michelle or do you have a body as well? I am a consciousness, but I am attached to a group of consciousness that has a body. Okay, is your body separate from that consciousness or are, you all, are your bodies together? We are a hive mind, so I am a part of it. Okay, well, as you know today, dear brother, the world is ascending massively we're changing in frequency and vibration and as you're aware we're all transmuting and healing and today is an opportunity for you and also for the collective consciousness that you're attached to for you to be able to evolve and to ascend also with us and that we bring to you today a choice in love and light for you to be able to transcend and move on to a better plane and life and a better existence for you and for this consciousness that you're connected to. Is this something that you would like to do today? Yes, I could do this today. I feel confident that you're safely, know what, you, know what you're going to do to make sure that I will remain safe. Yes, thank you for trusting us. Can you ask the consciousness, the collective that you're attached to, is this a collective decision? Can you ask, is everybody going to also take this opportunity to evolve and transcend as well with you today? Mostly all of them agree. Mostly all of them agree. Okay. Well, how many is left that are not in agreement? Very few, but they're discussing it amongst themselves. Okay. This so potential to pull themselves up. Good. We'll give them a few moments then to discuss it. Can we ask you, dear reptilian brother, when did you enter Michelle's body? At birth. 
at birth. Okay, so at the moment of her birth or was it after her birth? I think it was before around conception. Conception, okay. Around conception. And were you attached to the male or female energy? How did you manage to do that? How was that possible? Through her father. Is that an energy that's contained within the father energy? Like a, is it a it was contained. In my, I think it was an addiction, an addiction that the father had allowed him a space for me to enter. And what did you do to Michelle's body after you entered? Were you also connected to the father energy? Are you still connected to the father energy? Sorry. What was the last question? Are you still connected to the father energy as well? I'm still connected to the father energy as well. Okay. And at that point that you entered into Michelle's body, what did you do to Michelle? What effect did you have on her? I think it made her feel unsafe. It gave her mood swings. She was grumpy. Felt there was a threat. Didn't, couldn't see the threat. As a child, we used to scan her brain. She had memories of her mind being read as a young child by a computer. Nobody knew where she got these memories from, but this is what we were doing. We were checking her all the time. Okay, well, that's interesting to me because we are in aura hypnosis coming across information all the time where reptilian ships or UFOs have technology that they are, have been scanning us for, for different energies. What energies did you benefit from Michelle? What did you take from her that, uh, that you scanned her so much? She has very high psychic and clairvoyant ability. We were able to read people as she was reading people. Okay, thank you. Thank you, brother. Has everybody that were undecided, your reptilian consciousness brothers, have has everybody decided that they would like to avail this opportunity? Are they still discussing it amongst themselves? They will go if you give them certainty they are going to a safe place. Yes, we come here in a pure love and light energy today. And we have previously done this or provided this same opportunity of love, light and transformation for many millions of other alien life forms and other reptilian um, life forms as well. And it's already happened for millions. And that's exactly what we come here today as well with the help of the Archangel Realm that will be helping, aiding and assisting you to be able to transform and ascend to another place of higher living, high vibrational living that you can also choose to go to. So that is your choice to live free so that you don't have to live this hive mentality anymore, that you do not have to live perhaps as a slave and just uh, without any of your own authority or sovereignty. So we have done this for millions already and we continue to aid and provide this for many, many more. So we would lo love to be in service for you today to help you to live 
that you can exist on a much better existence. Would everybody like to avail and trust, place their trust in us today that we can do this for them? If, if you say that you are trustworthy, then I will decide to do this. I will also unhook from her left shoulder and from behind her heart, because we were also feeding off the energy of the vaccine. Okay, so you're connected as well to the vaccine energy. Yes. And we can help you release that energy today also. Okay, we have decided to do this. We will, we will, we will do this. We've decided we will. I absolutely love, honour and respect you for making this decision. I can feel the purity of your choice. And with your trust and with my love, let me now transform and help aid you to be the bridge to help you now to cross over fully and intact. So even with all of your bodies, if you want to bring your bodies with you, you also have the opportunity now to go fully intact so that you don't have to leave your bodies behind. So you can make this choice if you want to bring your bodies with you. It's entirely up to you. Bring all of your body with you. And we ask with the aid now of Archangel Michael, we ask the aid of Archangel Metatron, Archangel Raphael and any other angelic beings now to please come in and help to start the, the love light transformation. So I say to you now, to the collective of reptilian consciousness that we are speaking with today, that deep inside of you, there is a love light energy, your soul energy. You have this deep inside of you. And I ask for you to all of you now look deep inside of yourselves, deep inside and keep looking don't stop until you find your own love light energy now. Search for it within yourselves. Search for it within your bodies. Search for it and find it. And as you find it, trust and believe that this is your love light energy source. And you can begin now to expand your love light energy. Expanding, 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 expanding. As big as you like. And we ask the aid now of the archangels and the angelics to start helping you fully transforming and transmuting and ascending to the place of your own choice, where it is that you would all like to move on to. I call in Archangel Israel now also to be on hand to help us when they decide to fully move over, to transform over. Archangel Metatron, has the process begun for them now? Are they transmuting their love light energy? They are, they are. Thousands of them. They're a massive collective. They're under the mountains here. They're all agreeing to go. I can see them all in caves, all agreeing to go. Brilliant. Are they spreading their love light energies now everywhere throughout themselves? Yes, I can see them spreading it. Okay, so we'll give that a minute or two and allow, give them time. Can you tell me more about their location? I can see a whole collective under Canuck Varn, the big mountain beside me. Under the standing stones at the top, I can see a massive collective. But they're all speaking amongst each other about this love light energy. They can feel it. It's overwhelming them. That's absolutely beautiful. Are you able to sense or feel or tell us other, where there are other collectives connected to them? Maybe that seems to be in Ireland as well. Can you sense that information? Yes, I can see other mountains that they have collectives underneath. I can see a lot of them have gone into hollow earth. Way, way down, way, way down. 
did they transmute their into their love light beings to do that? They're transmuting now. They're they have never felt love light before as as much as this. They're speaking as if they have been denied this for so long. They've been denied this for so long. They mm -hmm. are very grateful to be held in this love light character. We're honored to be able to assist and to do this, particularly because it's Ireland as well. So it's so important now to start cleaning all this energy out of Ireland. Is this collective consciousness connected to other people within Ireland? Yes, it has strands to other people. Is it possible, higher self, how can we clear also those connections to those other people as well? Can we? Yes, I'm pulling, I'm pulling all the strands. The strands seem to be connected to the ley lines. I can see them as like threads that I'm pulling out of the land as this collective is coming looser. I can see how easy it is for me to pull all these threads out of the land with them. Beautiful. Should I channel love light frequency or should I continue with Phoenix fire, which is best? Continue with Phoenix fire. Okay. So while this is happening, I'm, I'm going, is it appropriate now to ask some of Michelle's questions also? Yes. Okay. So in relation to her neck and shoulder pain, the dystonia, um, which happened about 10 years ago in relation to possible whiplash to an accident. Is this connected to this particular energy we're working with right now, the reptilian energy? Yes. Okay. If I keep channeling the Phoenix fire onto this particular issue, the dystonia issue, is this going to help remove all the negative energy there and hopefully maybe heal this, the dystonia as well? Yes, it will pull out all those threads. They're all connected. Perfect. Just going back as well to the Archon, to the spider that we saw that's in the Archon container box as well. How is that looking now? Is that still in progress? It's still in progress. It's dissolving. Perfect. Shrinking. Okay. Okay, how is the reptilian consciousness getting on? What's the latest update, please? They are just flying off into the sky. They just feel like they're ascending. They feel like they have wings, they're lighter. There's so many of them just rising up in light. Would they like to tell us where they're choosing to go? They go back to their home world from where they originated before they were entangled in this mess. Okay, and is that home safe to return to? That it's free from distortion? It has been distorted, but there are ships all around it, safe ships that will contain them and keep them in the protection field. Perfect. Okay, so Archangel Israel, as there seems to be lots of them now returning collectively back to the light, can you please, if I know that I called you in at the beginning, but I just want to make sure, Archangel Israel, that I know that you are working hard to escort them back safely to their choice of, of where it is they want to return. Thank you, Archangel Israel. Yes. Archangel Israel, brother, can you also tell me about the 
part of the collective, well, of course, they're not a collective anymore because now they're transmuting. So I suppose they're becoming something different now. They're becoming sovereign. Are you able to tell me more about their choices to go to Hollow Earth? Their choice to go to Hollow Earth was during the flood. They had nowhere else to go. This was a safe place for them. What flood are you referring to? The second or the third flood. Before Atlantis sank. Before Atlantis. So this would have nothing to do with the flood in the Bible, as we would know about Noah's flood. No, before that, there was fl other floods before Atlantis. They've been here a lot longer than humans. They've been here a lot longer than human. Okay, and is that anything to do with Lemuria or is it before Lemuria? I think it's connected to Lemuria. So what kind of beings were they when they existed? Were they light beings? Did they have sovereignty, this, these reptilians, at that particular time before the flood happened? They had sovereignty, but they were locked out of their own time and space. They had no way of existing anywhere else. They were trapped by some kind of human deed has trapped them in this place. Was it connected to archons or was it an extraterrestrial contract or something that brought them, that made them stay here so densely? It's something to do with some kind of ripping a timeline, some kind of a timeline rip that has been done by an experiment that humans did. And it negatively polarized them, trapped them here. They felt that they should get revenge on humans for doing this. Their only support system was to feed off another life form, which was us. Did they choose Ireland in particular? Or what's the connection to choosing the mountain in Ireland? mountain particularly? The mountains in Ireland are very, very magical places. I think they hold with it within them this kind of generating energy. There's like a generator, almost like a pyramid type of a generator energy underneath these pyramids, which contain massive amounts of energy which they can feed on. This energy under the mountain is like a consciousness that slowly wakes up. But if we have these collectives feeding off it, it stops it from waking up. Because if it wakes up, the people on the surface are going to have their consciousness raised immensely. So this all feeds into some kind of dark, dark false light that the churches are all connected to as well. It's like it's a, um, an artificial sacred geometry grid system that has been overlaid, overlaid on the, na the natural ley line grid that is already in place. They have overlaid on top of it. So these collectives are sent there, trapped there, fed on, feeding on this energy so that it doesn't wake up the subsurface human. 
Thank you. That was a very beautiful answer. That brings me to one of Michelle's questions, an important question. And it relates to when I was working also on her womb chakra, doing the energy work, I felt that there was a displacement. And I also felt that there was a fake ley line connected to the inner earth. And that brings me to Michelle's question where she's talking about working on the womb chakra within the Dingle Peninsula. So Dingle is obviously a very important point, an energy point, like a vortex for ley lines as well. So is it true that there is, that there was perhaps a fake ley line system, as you just said, we've already kind of said that, but just to clarify it, is that in connecting into the womb chakra then that Michelle is also working on in Dingle and that has that affected her own womb chakra connection? Yes, where she is working on these grids are, it's a massive big sub system, like, um, like a massive big sub generating system, which is, is very much connected to all the goddess energy on this peninsula. The goddess energy has been trapped and contained so this has been laid over to try and dumb down the divine feminine. Um, the reptilian consciousness that we've just been transmuting, have they been part of that dumbing down of the feminine energy there? Is that why they chose that location? This is why they've chosen this location, because it's such a powerful divine feminine energy. If this wakes up, the whole country is going to wake up. Okay, so this is significant. So we, we need to get this right today. We need to get the healing and the energies right. Okay, Archangel Metatron, can you please clarify to me now, how is the reptilian consciousness looking? Um, have they all transmuted and send it? It looks like they've all gone. I can't see any, those caves are empty now. There's nothing there. They have ascended. Is there anything that they would like to say to Michelle before they leave? Or have they left completely? They would like to apologize for any interference in her life. They feel like they were puppets themselves and had no real way of stopping any of this. They would like to offer their condolences for any damage that has been done as they ascend, they say goodbye. Thank you, dear Reptilian brothers. We honor and love and respect you today so much because what you have done today is incredible for all of us, for humanity and for yourself as well. So we cannot appreciate you enough for the brave choice that you made today and to trust us to trust us to do this for you, especially when your trust with humans was so bad. So we wish you the best of Thank luck. You so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping us. We're honored. You're more than welcome. May you go in love and peace and continue to live now in the most divine, purest of light that you may get to live in full sovereignty of all of your own life and your choices from now and henceforth. Thank you.